Okay, so what we've got to do then in this question is just sketch this graph and this graph on the axes provided. So let's start with this one here. y equals x plus 1 all squared multiplied by 2 minus x. Now the first thing I notice about this is that we've got an x squared term here if we were to expand this bracket. The highest power would be x squared then and it would be multiplied by negative x which would give me a minus x cubed term. So already I'm thinking what does a negative x cubed graph look like? And it looks something like this generally, okay? Coming down like this. So, next I'd want to find out where this graph crosses, say, the y-axis. And to do that, I know that all I need to do is put x equals naught into the equation. So we'll start by putting when x equals naught in. When we put x is naught, you can see that y would equal naught plus 1, so that's 1, all squared, which is 1, and it would be multiplied by... 2 take away naught, which is 2. So clearly that is going to be 2. Let's mark that point on the y-axis, naught 2. Let's say it's point here. Okay. Next I would want to find out where this graph crosses the x-axis. And when a graph crosses the x-axis, its y-coordinate will be 0. So all I need to do is say when y equals 0. Now when y equals 0, we put this equal to 0, so therefore we would have 0 equals x plus 1 all squared multiplied by 2 minus x. And that means that either x plus 1 equals 0 or 2 minus x equals 0. So let's just put that in, that x plus 1 equals 0 or 2 minus x equals 0. And if we rearrange the first equation by subtracting 1 from both sides, we get x is minus 1. And if we add x to both sides, we end up with x equals 2. So this is where the curve then crosses the y-axis. So let's mark those points in. We'll say that minus 1 is here. And we'll say that 2 is about here. All right? So we've got a basic idea of the curve, but another point is that what we have here is often referred to as a repeated linear factor, because it's really x plus 1 times another x plus 1. So we've really got x plus 1 equals 0, and x plus 1 equals another 0, leading to x is minus 1 on two occasions. So whenever you get something like this, where you've got a squared, what actually happens is that the graph, or curve in this particular case, just touches the x-axis. So putting that all together, this shape curve is going to come down through here, touch at minus 1, come up through the 2, and back down like this. OK, let's just sketch that in as best as we can. So we'll do that through here. We'll come down through here, round there. Now, when you get to here, it's very tempting to make this the highest point and then carry on down through here. I see that often. But this curve, if you notice, is shifted more to the right. So, in fact, this is not going to be the highest point, the point where it turns. It's going to actually naturally want to carry up a bit further and then start to bend down and come down through here. Okay, so watch out for that. As I say, don't make that the highest point. Okay, it's not a brilliant curve. We've got a little bit of a bump here. I suppose I could take that out, okay, and try again. But uh, essentially, it's only meant to be a sketch. As long as you can show basic the uh, shape of the graph, I think that'd be okay. Right, okay, let's go on now to y equals 2 over x. When we're doing this one, we should know that graphs like this, what we often call reciprocal graphs, where you've got a constant over x, I'd like to think that you already know that these type of graphs look something like this. Okay? 
So that's what we've got to do on here. Just literally draw this kind of graph in like so. Okay. So if we just do that, okay, we're going to get something looking, I would think, like that. And like that. Okay. So that's our graph then of y equals 2 over x. Okay, well that brings us to the end of this part of the question.